Okay, Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Um, this is a Virgo channel only for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So your sun does not have to be Virgo, but if you have Virgo in your chart somewhere, you're free to listen. Um, yeah, so if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video to get that. Hello, everyone in the chat. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing great. I know the readings have been a little bit like, ah, what's going on? But let's take a look and see what the messages are December through, uh, sorry, November through December. Um, these are love readings, but if anything else shows up other than love, like career, health, all that other stuff, we'll definitely take a look at that. Okay. So starting off, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Someone's hiding behind pair of glasses um, and it's a card of stalking watching someone's watching so Virgo give them a movie <laughs> someone's looking at you okay let me see or some of you might have just bought an expensive pair of sunglasses you might catch someone who's wearing sunglasses looking at you you have ascending beautiful transcending obstacles learning expansion a new phase preparing for union Wow okay creeper alert i don't know you've got somebody here who's watching you and is preparing to have a new phase with you okay let's see oh my goodness virgo it's always some drama with you guys with these readings okay let me see does spirit want you to know anything else okay a bunch of cards flying out kisses seduction and a love call okay well Reading's over. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so you've got somebody who's definitely... Okay, there's... Mm -mm -mm. Oh boy, Virgo. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is... Like, I don't even know. I'm just going to go right through the reading. Again, there's a love call coming in. Somebody very attracted to you, flirting, wants to date you, hook up, temptation. Um, someone expressing their love, sending a message of love thinking of you letting you know um, unconditionally loving you giving and receiving affection falling in love a new phase is here okay who the heck is this okay new phase watching <sighs> looking at you okay you've got queen of cups um cancer scorpio pisces even though it's so strange this card does have the libra libran symbol on it so Maybe for some of you, it's a Libra, it's Aquarius again. Okay, healing, 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 getting into that healing energy. Okay, so let's see. There's a journey. Could be somebody running away, but there's overcoming some obstacles, hardship. There's progress. I see progress happening during this time period. Um, somebody's getting out of a very... Like facing fears, uh, somebody is coming out of their comfort zone here, Virgo, relocating or moving, heading in your direction. This for this person feels like a necessary transition. Now, this person is showing up in this Queen of Cups energy, which is someone who's very nurturing, healing, supportive, tolerant, full of empathy. Um, okay, let me see. Taking a look at the the fears and the deepest emotions and overcoming obstacles overcoming these fears to connect with you okay there we go okay wow okay <laughs> all right you guys give me just a second here oh 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 okay this person was a player in their past I feel like that's what this overcoming energy is, healing. Um, somebody was a player or they were they run they would always run away from relationships. This might be like a little I don't know if it's a little bit more of yesterday's reading, but the story continues. I do feel like this person they were pretending to be a friend or they had some kind of like deep affection for you. But I also feel like this person was very hasty, um, maybe a charmer, or they lived a very charmed life, self-assured in their passions, okay? So 
very high, like highly confident in their physical escapades. Definitely someone, a shameless flirt, very sexy and warm, um, a free spirit kind of person, but perhaps at some point, this is what this overcoming this healing energy is. There's definitely a spying. Those person's definitely watching. And um, I feel like, th th so, okay, because I was feeling like this overcoming these fears or taking a look at their deepest feelings, but what was good, what's behind them is this past life lived in being a schemer or maybe cheating or being um taking risky behavior making risky choices or dangerous risky behavior okay okay so this person might have a, had a lack of conscience conscience but was always in that knight of wands energy you know very like lustful immature <coughs> not really settled the knight of wands like that energy is someone who knows what they want very the passions like rise off of their passions okay it feels to me like somebody here is taking a hard look at their emotions and coming out of that has been a lifestyle for this person and is like ascending here that's what the ascending transcending these obstacles learning having a new phase is coming in wanting it just feels like ready to settle down ready to stop living a life of adventure like in sexual adventures that kind of thing all right so who is this okay who is this person this could be somebody could be a friend this could be a family member you know telling you that you know oh they don't want to do this anymore or they don't want to live this way it could be a lover or someone that you could connect with during this time period who says yeah you know I used to be such a player and I'm really interested in you and you know I'm uh, it feels like some I don't know if they're having a wake-up call they're just exhausted okay let me see what's going on <laughs> exhausted that's exactly what I said the poverty card five of pentacles here this is like struggle 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 this person did what they did because they were they had a poverty mindset you know people i feel like i guess people who play around like that don't think they deserve anything so they're kind of like rats eating roaches on the streets the city streets going after roaches the city streets um feeling like the world is always against them adversity and struggle so whoever this person is and it feels like it's a water sign coming in and ascending i feel like you're going to get a love call or a message from this person telling you um you know either they used to be a player they recognize that this is how they've been living their lives and they're sick and tired of this i touched on that a little bit in yesterday's reading so it feels like this is what's happening here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me see. What else does spirit want Virgo to know? Wow. Healing from betrayal. Wow. Okay. Or rising up. This person definitely... To go from the Ten of Swords to the Star. Either this person was like very much a doormat or felt like a failure. And I'm not, listen, I'm not giving concessions. I'm just reading the cards. This person, either they were cursed. They've hit rock bottom here. They're hitting rock bottom. Like ruin. The only way to go from the bottom is up. Unless you're a Slytherin snake and you're just kind of creeping along the ground and making lateral moves. I feel like this person <sighs> renewal, healing, ascending with that star. Definitely Aquarius energy, Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius. 
this person's getting like inner clarity. It's a freaking miracle. It is a miracle. This person might be in the spotlight in some way. It's a miracle. That's what I feel like it's like it has to be. Somebody sitting rock bottom. Completely defeated. Completely defeated in their life. Okay. Page of Swords. Page of Cups. They may have lost their children. Okay. They're getting their children back. Definitely an apology. Definitely communication. Um, wanting to talk to you. Make plans with you. I feel like this person has always dreamed to be in a relationship with you. But their wascally wabbit ways kept them from doing that could never settle down. I think yesterday's reading, there's somebody who had a very restless, reckless heart. And I feel like that has not boded well, bode well for that person. Um, they're just, they're just, they're, they've hit rock bottom here. Okay. There's definitely an apology coming in from this person for the way they've treated you. Um, and if you don't know who this person is, it could be a friend or someone who tells you that they've made huge mistakes. They've gone down paths they shouldn't have gone down. They were very impulsive because the Knight of Wands can be very impulsive. Um, they're not living their life any, anymore like that. They don't want to. You know, um, they might have been very childish in their ways. I'm feeling like they're very serious about this, like vigilant. I feel like there's a conversation. Um, they do kind of have their dukes up. So if this is a, someone that you knew from before, I do feel like they, um, they don't want to get into any kind of argument. They do want to apologize and they're hoping that you're not going to, um, you know, be harsh with them, but they also know that they probably deserve this. For the you know their behavior not for who they are but for their behavior but there is an element of seduction so they might there might have been a third party well if this person was a player then yeah I do feel like a third party situation or dating around or playing around um, they might have gone for people who are way younger than them and um, so there's an ego thing going on there I feel like the overall message with this person is an apology of some sort, wanting to make stuff up to you. Um, they've got this inner voice that they're listening to, you know, becoming more sensitive. I feel like though they might have always been sensitive, but there's a huge transition happening here in this person's life. And the major arcana that's here, the only one is the star. So this is kind of like following a life path, making their dreams come true. I feel like, that, like I said, this they always wanted to have some kind of relationship, but they it just feels like they, they got into maybe some kind of habit of connecting in a physical way and then, you know, leaving the next day, not returning calls and just being, just being very much a player. Okay, let me take a look at you. So Virgo, expect some type of message from someone. And, you know, again, if you listen to yesterday's reading, there was a lot about having to make a decision about what you wanted to do about that. But I do feel like it, it, this might be a continuation of that. But for others, this might be, it's going to depend. It's going to depend on what your advice is here. If it's a sim similar message, then I feel like for you, it's, you have to just hear this message again, the same as yesterday. But let me see. Let me take a look at you. Okay, you have the chariot. Oh, there you are again. I feel like you, okay, so I feel like you want to be able to overcome these, uh, these obstacles with this person. You know, you're very disciplined and you're someone who puts effort into relationships only if the person is coming correct 
If they're not coming correct, then obviously you'll keep moving. Um, and some of you are just like, you know, I'm not even paying attention. You're just looking at that new car you want to buy <laughs> or booking that trip. Okay, let me see. So we have Cancer and your card, of course. Oh, all right, you guys. I can't even believe it. Yesterday's reading in the position of you, you were bookending with the Queen and the King of Pentacles. And here it is again. So I do feel like this is going to be, I feel like you're going to, hold on. They just said pull a card. Okay. <clears throat> Overcome the conflict. Yes, you're willing to do that. And I see you will be receptive if this person is not just coming in with an apology um, like they have really having to be ready to make the changes, which I feel like they are because they had the ascending. I feel like this person's been watching you or keeping an eye on you. Okay. You might have already received a call or a message from this person. You might get another one, a follow up. I feel like you're o willing to overcome the conflict with this person. Could be another um, earth sign as well. But if that doesn't happen, I feel like you will just take off, okay, with the chariot. The chariot is pretty much like get in the car and go and just go. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of anxiety and stress. You were very unhappy. I feel like right now you're, you're very unhappy without this person, but then you might also be unhappy with them because of the behavior. Okay, so you're mostly... I see you really not doing anything. Like I said, you might be stressed at work or maybe you're having some dreams that, you know, maybe some, I f okay, so they're just telling me to split this in two. So my Virgo males, you're having a lot of stress over this relationship. You want this new start with this person. Okay, you do. You want this healing, which is what the Ace of Cups is. That's a very healing energy. Um, but you have a lot of stress attached to that as well, okay? Um, it's like you don't want the stress, but with this new beginning comes that a little bit of anxiety because you don't know if... Some of you are blaming yourselves for... And this is for the Virgo males masculine some of you are blaming yourselves for why you have not been able to manifest love in your life or a new start with someone i feel like that's your fear and your worry like i feel like some of the virgo masculines are taking it upon themselves wholly taking all the blame all the anguish all the remorse like telling yourselves it's all my fault okay even if you're telling yourselves during the day it's not at night, you're sitting there like, well, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it was all my fault. Maybe I didn't act soon enough. Maybe I didn't offer my, my cup of love. Maybe I didn't take the opportunity when it, when it came down. But then there's a bit of confusion because if somebody was messing around, yes, he hears the offer. So if somebody was kind of messing around on you, then you're also kind of like, but wait, <laughs> but wait. So maybe a little bit of cognitive dissonance, okay? Because you're like, I love this person, but they bring me so much stress and anxiety, and I want a new start, and I want healing, you know, but I don't know, I'm not going to rush into anything. I feel like the Virgo masculines are like going to just going to keep moving very slow, be very patient if this person's coming in correct or coming in to apologize or wants to try to have a new start with you. I don't see you rushing in. Now, the Virgo uh, feminines are like, if you don't come correct, I'm out of here. <laughs> so the feminines are kind of like, I'm willing to overcome these obstacles and the conflict and the fighting and the disagreements and the struggle, the, your struggle, which is your lying and your cheating, or you're running around and sleeping all over town. Okay, I'm willing to overcome that only if you are, and you're going to do what you need to do. Otherwise... Um, yep, bye-bye. <laughs> so Virgo feminines seem to have it a little bit more together where the Virgo masculines are just kind of suffering a little bit more. Just a little bit. 
Yep, see, Virgo Feminines, um, you're trusting your intuition. That's really what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't feel like you're really confused. Um, but I do feel like you keep, you, you're very, oh, you're overprotective. You're protecting your, your feelings, your emotions. The Virgo masculines are just having more of the mental struggle. But with your, with your emotions, feminines, you're kind of like being very vague about how you feel. You're not opening yourself up to somebody. I feel like for you, feminines, it's going to be more along the lines of like, you're going to have to open up to me before I'm going to open up to you. <laughs> So you're drawing some pretty hard lines in the sand, Virgo feminines. The males are kind of like, well, see how it goes. If it happens, it happens. But if it doesn't, like I'm not rushing into anything. <laughs> okay, so you're, you know, both of you are just, you're kind of taking the same paths. You're just making your decisions based on different reasons. Okay, let me see the outcome. What will the outcome be, the overall outcome? for this connection with someone. And and it's not only with someone that you were connecting with who was behaving like that. If this is somebody new, there's also this um, you know, this hesitation with the Virgo males because you're you might sense that this, you know, okay, well if you tell me you were playing in the past, how do I know that you're like I'm not rushing in with it with you. And the Virgo females same situation somebody new who tells you they were a player in the past but they're really interested in you are like uh, uh you know what the first sign the first hint of drama i see i'm out like major conflict or competition if i have to compete with anybody else because you're coming in and you're ready but then all of a sudden now you're not ready or you're messing around virgo's like i'm out the door but you're not getting any of my feelings my emotions i'm keeping all that hidden with that moon energy and I'm going to just not reveal it because you're not trying to be led on or get yourself. Like, it's a lot of hesitancy and protection. Okay, well, the overall outcome is Ten of Cups. So I feel like this situation or relationship or whatever it is is going to turn into marriage. I do. I feel like somebody's coming in here and they're really, really sincere. They're showing up here very sincere. Wow. Okay. So how about that, Virgo? <laughs> how about that? Let me see what your love, your love messages are here. Happy family, reunion, homecoming, family gathering, marriage, long-term relationships, stability and security. I feel like you guys are going to get what you want here. Um, if this is somebody new or somebody from your past. Uh, yeah. Okay, so there's a little bit of flirtatiousness. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So there's some flirtatiousness happening here. For some of you, this is reconciliation, a flirty reconciliation with someone. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. And stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Why does it always have to be readings where there was people who cheated or messing around or can only connect on a physical level and not an emotional one? Well, what other reason would there be for a love tower reading? That if you're single and you've got no one, go back to the singles because there was predictions there on Sunday of who you were going to meet, what they were like, and how you were going to meet them. Okay. Wow, there's engagement. You're going to be engaged. You're going to be engaged with this to this person. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. We can look and see. But this is going to turn into a higher level of commitment. Yes, definitely. It will turn into that. Okay, retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge patience everything will unfold in divine timing i know aren't you tired of hearing that but it's true divine timing you need to have patience retreat if you're retreating or spending time alone keep doing that 
that's very healthy and very good for you. Trust is safe to trust in this situation. What situation? House of Virgo Tower reading. That's the situation. It is safe to trust what I'm telling you is that you and this person will be engaged to be married or in a long-term commitment exclusive. There's healing. There's recovery. Um, there is an energy of transitioning and facing fears making this transition moving relocating happening here if you're connected to someone who lives at a distance to you okay the friendship that's leading to more okay so it might have been or currently is somewhat of a friendship you know um, maybe this person wasn't necessarily cheating for some of you this might have just been a friendship and this person was just going out there sowing their oats sowing their seeds or whatever and is tired of living their life like that and wants to turn um, this into something more okay or there was a third person a third party involved and that's done with okay unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement so if you have any unhealed wounds virgo Get into some counseling, sort out whatever things are blocking your movement forward in your own personal life. Maybe there's PTSD, maybe there's trust issues, okay? Stability, this relationship can stand the test of time. Healing, I tell you what, when you heal Virgo, people around you heal because then you learn to set boundaries you recover from things you know who you are you connect with self becoming your best friend like friendship with yourself can bring even greater rewards could lead you to more stability in your life okay here and now your true love is already part of your life so whoever you're listening to this reading for that's your person that is your person despite whatever obstacles or unhealed wounds in the relationship their unhealed wounds yours may well i don't want to say might i don't want to say may but i feel like that's the reason why movement forward couldn't happen that's what the obstacles were it had nothing to do with distance or lifestyle or things like that it had everything to do with unhealed wounds trauma um issues from childhood on both sides so i feel like this person <laughs> wants to get into that healing mode maybe they're going to go into some counseling or talk to somebody okay this person is obsessed with you they can't let go they can't stop thinking about you you are you are always on my mind <laughs> right okay all right I can't get enough of you. I'm dying to find out if you are as good in real life as you are in my fantasies. Oh my goodness. Did you know that you are incredibly sexy? Oh my gosh. Look at this. I feel like this person finds you unbelievably attractive, unbelievably sexy. Like you, you are... <laughs> something about you virgo this person cannot get enough of you there is no doubt in my mind they are crazy attracted to you and even still in fact they and for some of you this person might have just been in and out of your life with that physical and not messing around with anyone else and then they keep coming back okay just keep coming back because they're so physically attracted to you this person touches themselves when they see your picture. Ooh. You are their weakness, Virgo. <laughs> you are my weakness. Let's have a feast, and I don't mean food. Oh, there might be a Thanksgiving. You might be the turkey, and this person's going to give you the dressing. <laughs> I'm a 10-year-old. I'm a 10 year, no wait, that's not even 10. I'm 12. I'm immature and I'm goofy and giggly when I'm talking about this. What's the matter with me? Nobody turned me on like you do. I cannot not and I can never control myself when we're together. Oh my goodness. I'm addicted to you. This person is like insane about you. 
They love the way you sound. And your mind is just as sexy. They think nasty thoughts about you. They wonder if they're good enough for you, though. They do. I feel like this person doesn't think that they they can perform or that they're that they're good enough for you. Wow, they really have you on a pedestal. You make me feel shy. I don't feel like this person anyone does that to them except for them. They're awkward. They're weird and awkward and and like <laughs> nervous around you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I f honestly like Virgo I feel like this is a lot of the reason why you're not with this person because the passion so overwhelming so overwhelming I love your mysterious ways oh and then I just saw SCX with an X okay hold on um, this person views you as very mysterious why Virgo what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Virgo. What are you doing? Hold on. I want to get some. What do we have here? Okay. Another Virgo, Aries, double Virgo, Gemini, of course. I feel like Gemini is just like a staple in these readings. Okay. Gemini again, Aries, Pisces, another Virgo. My goodness, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, and Aries. All right, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, double Libra. One more. Whoop, Capricorn, a lot of Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, now if, they, if their sign didn't show up, don't worry about it. Okay, somebody's birthday is the 23rd. September 4th, September 10th, September 5th, September 3rd. Somebody was born in 1980. Um, 2013, very significant year. Okay, all right, the number 209-15108, and you have 777. Oh my goodness, lucky sevens. This is a very lucky time for you. Jackpot. You're going to get your jackpot. This is going to turn into an engagement. Somebody's going to offer engagement. You Either you're, you are or, or going to receive it or tell you they want that. And that energy is going to play out when. I wanted to tell you when will you get this offer. Hold on a minute. Okay, December 12th. December 12th. You're going to hear from this person, a love call. Okay, 1997. Um, hmm, 8014. Okay, the number 64. And September 11th, 10th and 11th is what they're telling me. Hold on. All right, just want to do something here. All right, September 13th. September 15th and September 14th birthdays okay August 25th August I'm sorry September 21st August 27th important days August 24th okay Let's see what names. Do you want to do the Chinese signs first? Okay. What are the Chinese signs? Who's showing up here? Wow, look at that. The Wheel of, the wheel of Fortune is here. This situation is going to be in your favor, Virgo. Times are changing. Everything is changing. All right, the wheel is turning in your favor. A turning point. Good luck is coming to you. Gambling, maybe even. Okay, let me see. This is this is the... Um, this feels like the karmic wheel is turning in your favor. Okay, you have year of the rat, year of the dog, year of the pig, year of the rooster, year of the rat again, year of the ox, 
Year of the Goat, Year of the Snake, Year of the Tiger, one more, and the Rabbit. Okay, interesting, Virgo. All right, let's see. Last but not least, get a couple of messages here for you. And I'm only going to do a few of these now because they are just very deep and go really long. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button on the channel if you enjoy my videos. And personal reading links are in the description box below. So definitely check that out. Okay, somebody's getting an IV. I just heard that right now. Somebody is getting an IV or just got an IV. Okay. And somebody's going to be toasting at someone's wedding. Definitely toasting. Giving a toast at a wedding. Okay. I see someone also lives in a very small home. Like, a, I don't know if it's a tiny home or just a very small home. Black shutters. It's a white house with like some black shutters around the windows. Windows. Okay. Hmm. All right. Somebody's in Europe. Somebody definitely lives in Europe. Somewhere where there's castles. I'm not sh so, well, I guess that could be anywhere. Um, but definitely castles. And somebody's walking down the street and there's all this, maybe a city street, and there's all of this um, scaffolding around a city street. Or you, or you see scaffolding, you walk under scaffolding. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, somebody has a collie or a border collie. Okay, and I see a gentleman walking with a purse or a, a man purse or a man bag. I just keep seeing that, that Seinfeld episode when Jerry was wearing a fur coat and he had a purse. I just, <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> and somebody wears a hat like is either wearing a hat right now or always wears hats and um okay and you know what virgo they just told me right now somebody wants you to see them they're hoping you will see them i just heard somebody's hoping that you will see them or that you're gonna see them okay q e2 isn't that a ship I just saw a Q, Queen Elizabeth II is a ship, I think QE2, I just heard. Okay, um, and now I'm getting the name Victor Victoria again. St really getting that strong. Okay. Somebody calls you cutie? Cutie. Calls you cutie. Okay, and now I'm just getting the name Lily or Lillian, Lily, Lily or Lillian or Lil. Okay, and someone's in a garden center. Maybe you're. Oh goodness, garden center. Maybe you're looking at Christmas trees. Someone's in a garden center. Oh wow. Just have a rose, okay. Hold on, let me see. Just had a rose, okay. And we have a frog, okay. Something to do with a rose. Also have like a frog, one of those tropical frogs. All right. You also have a cherub, little angel cherub, maybe a child, child angel. You also have a web cobweb maybe something to do with the internet there's a connection with someone on the internet or you're browsing the internet and you have money big hundred dollar bill okay hundred dollar five hundred dollar whatever i don't know how so big bills come from so you might be ha you might win some money or you're getting some, something on the web or the internet maybe there's some money that's being won or you have a connection with someone who's on the internet <coughs> on the World Wide Web, or you're dating on your own dating apps or something. And I also feel like, um, 
Yeah, this frog, I don't know, this is one of those tropical frogs, I think. Although it could be a regular frog. Somebody likes frogs, like froggies. Or somebody calls somebody froggy or has, or you have a cough right now. You're call, you have like a froggy throat or froggy voice or something along those lines. All right, so Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, um, but you let me know if that resonated for you in some way, and I hope that you enjoyed that. I especially, especially love these cards because I really feel like somebody is like crazy addicted to you, very attractive. They can't, they can't, um, <laughs> I just feel like they, they're just physically like crazy about you. Like you make them weak. Like you, you're, you're the only person that turns them on. <laughs> Dare I put that up as, you know, one of the, <laughs> I'm being a 10 year old again. Okay, I have to stop. All right, you guys, hope you enjoy that message. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.